Hey, what's up? Welcome back to this new video. This one is paper 3 of May, June 2005 of A-Level Math. Now, obviously, we are going to be trying to uh, do all the questions uh, step by step and as detailed as possible to help you out for your exam preparation. Uh, with that being said, let's move on to the questions we have for you. Now, let's move on to question number one. So we have to expand this thing right here in ascending powers of x up to the term in x power 3. So, again, it is a binomial expansion, so what do we need to know? We know that, well, to use a binomial expansion of formula, for example, 1 plus n power x, so x power n, my apologize. So this here has to be plus 1, and this here has to be negative value. Now, we compare, right? Here we have 1 plus 4x power minus half. This is plus 1. And this is value of negative. So once we confirm that is true, we can use our formula for expanding this. For example, if you were to expand this, you will have 1 plus n times x plus n times n minus 1 times x squared over 2 factorial n plus n minus 1 n minus 2 over 3 factorial times x power 3. Plus, keep going on, but we won't need to keep going on because here we need to stop at x power, power 3. Now, now, by comparison, I can see, well, here we have x, but here we have 4x, so x has to be 4x. And here we have n, and the power n here is minus half. So just plug these values in the formula right here and see what happens. So you will have equal 1 plus n is minus half, x here is 4x plus, here we have minus half, minus 1, that will be minus 3 over 2, here we have x, 4x squared, right, divide by 2 factorial, plus, minus half, minus 3 over 2, minus 5 over 2, and then that will be 4x power 3 over 3 factorial. So simplify, let's see what happens, there will be 1, uh, this will cancel with this, so 2 minus 2x. Here we have, uh, let's use our calculator, why not? Because minus half times minus 3 over 2. Divide by 2 factorial, which is 2, times the value of 16, right? Because 4 squared 16, that will be plus 6x power 2. Finally, here we have what? We have minus half times minus 3 over 2 times minus 5 over 2 uh, times 4 power 3. Let's see what happens. Divide by 3 factorial, which is 6, that will be minus 20. So minus 20 x power, power 3. Okay, so the expansion of this will give you 1 minus 2 x, and then plus 6 minus 20 x power 3. Again, the main point is we have to use the formula, and there's a few conditions to know when can we use it. Once we satisfy those conditions, we have to plug in the values one by one and simplify to find this. That is question number one. Now let's move on to question number two. The diagram shows a sketch of the curve y equal to 1 over uh, 1 plus x cubed for the values of x between this and this. So we have this uh, on the graph as given to you, shown as well, right here. Now, for part one, we have to use the trapezium rule. Again, it is just a formula we need to know with two intervals, where n, two interval, with n equal to two, to estimate the value of this integration. Okay? Of course, give your answer correct to two decimal place. All right. So first thing first, what is the formula? We have to know, well, the area is approximately equal to half times h, and then uh, first, so f of x zero, plus the f of x, the last one, and plus 2 times f of the values in the middle. For example, f, x of 1, on and on, right? Now, x0 is the value over here, right? This first one over here. And x2 will be the value over, x1, sorry, x2 will be the value at the end, which is the last one. This is the first one. Here we only have two intervals as required by the question. So one interval and two intervals. 
Now we can just replace back in our main equation. So it will be equal to what? Approximately half. H is the width of the interval, which is this, is 0 0.6. F of the first one, which is minus 0 0.6, plus the last one, which is F of 0 0.6, and plus we have two times the middle one. So here we have only x1, so F times uh, F taking the value of 0. There you go. Now we just have to simplify one by one and uh, see what happens. Again, trapezium rule is just a formula. H is the width of the interval. As you can see, we have two intervals. This is the width. That's it. And then half is just the uh, part of the formula. And the rest we have to find one by one. So this will give you 0 0.3. Now we have to find this value, this value, and this value. So let's find that. So on the left hand side, let me find F taking the value of minus 0 0.6. So here we have this is my equation of, of the curve. Plug in the value of that. That will be 1 plus minus 0 0.6 power 3. And 1 divided by that, that should give you 1.2755. Now f of 0 0.6 for the last one, right? For this one, that will be 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.6 power 3. That will be 0 0.8224. And f of 0, the value in the middle right here, so that will be 1 divided by 1 plus 0. That is just 1. So finally, once you have, once you have those values, we we'll just have to plug them in the formula, right? That will be what? Half, sorry, half is gone. We have a 0 0.3 times the first one is 1 point. 2755. The last one is 0 0.8224 plus this one is 2 times 1. Right here. So let's do this. So 0 0.3 times 1.2755 plus 0 0.8224 plus 2 times 1. That will be 1.2293. But correct to two, uh, two, two decimal place, right? So 1.23. This will be the area of this integral. Correct to two decimal place by using the trapezium rule. Right, so now what else? So for part two, we have to explain with reference to the diagram why the trapezium rule may be expected to give a good approximation. Now. Of course, using the diagram, let's observe. So, for example, for this interval, let's say we're supposed to have a trapezium. You will have this, joining with this, and join with this, this join with this. As you can see, the first trapezium here, the first, this one, this one overestimates, right? It overestimates. And this one underestimates. Uh, by observation, you can see for this one, we have this as extra overestimates. And from here, we do see while we're missing this part, it is underestimating this one. So they cancel out each other so that we have a good approximation for the integral. So you can write well uh, from diagram. From the diagram, we can see, from the diagram, let me write this, so we have 0 0.620 for this interval. Uh, it over, over S estimate, and from 0 to 0 0.6 interval, it underestimate. So the error cancels out underestimate so the error that we have cancels out cancels out so providing a good estimation for the for the area of this integral and that is this is your question number two so the main point is using your formula and using your diagram to observe what's happening that's it for question number two 
Now let's move on to question number three. Here we have to solve this equation, giving the answers in the form of this for the roots. So one by one. Now we can write this as one z square minus two i z minus five is zero. So you would say, well, z will have to be what? Using our formula will be minus b, which is two i plus minus root of b square, which is 4i square minus 4 times a and times c. Divide by the value of 2a, which is just 2. Right. So now we have to simplify one by one and see what happens. So what is this? What is 4i square? Well, i square is minus 1. That will be minus 4. Here we have 4 times 1 times this will be 1. So 4 times minus 5 is minus 20. So you will have minus 4 minus minus 20. That should be plus 20. That will simply be the value of 16. Now put this back in. You will have 2i plus minus root of 16 over the value of 2. That should be i plus minus the value of... So what is root of 16 again? So I hope that is very simple for you. It is 4, right? Divide by 2, that will be the value of, of 2. If that makes sense. So let me write this down. The two roots will be what? So let me write this. We will have z of 1 will be minus 2 plus i. z of 2 will have to be the value of uh, 2 plus i. So this is the two roots of this equation that we were looking for. Now let's move on to find part 2. We have to find the modulus and argument of each of the roots. Okay. Now let's, uh, of course, focus one by one. So z1, what is the modulus? You will say, well, square root, square this one will be the value of 4 and plus 1. That will be root of 5. Now, same way, z2 will also be root of 5 as well. So these two modulus, same, no big deal. Now, when it comes down to the argument, we have to understand what we are trying to find. So for the positive one, it's pretty easy. So argument of z2 will be simply 10 inverse of the value here, which is 1 divided by 2. So you can use degrees or radians, that's fine as well. So half, that will be 26.6 for that one. Now, how, what happened to the other one? If you observe, well, arg of z1 will be what? Will be 180 minus 26.6 .6. well let me show you guys why so for example this is my organ diagram that will be real and this is the imaginary so let's say this is z2 is 2i so 2i is over here so this angle here is my arg of z2 this is z2 now, let's say, where is z1? z1 will be minus 2, will be somewhere over here, and over here. You agree? Now, what is arg of z2? It will be the angle from here to here. Right. Now, how do you find that? We have to take the whole thing minus this one. But this one is the same as this, so this one is the same as this, which is 26.6. Now, the whole thing is just 180, so 180 minus 26.6 will give you the value right here. That should be 153.4 degrees. And that is your argument for that one. Now let's move on. Part 2, we have to sketch an organ diagram showing the roots, the points representing the roots. So as you can see, I've done this already, but uh, you, you can use a bigger diagram obviously with the imaginary axis and a real axis. That will be real and imaginary. Here we have 2, 2 for example, and here we have, so minus 2, 2, and here we have i. The first point z will be right here, second point z will be right here. So we can write this is my 1, z2, and z1 according to my points here for the solution of this one. 
Now, let's see what's the other question. So that's it, right? So to sketch the organ diagram and show the points representing the roots. So only one box. So we have those two points and we are good to go. I hope the first half of the video was somewhat helpful. If you guys would love to access the full video, feel free to click on the Patreon link on the main page. Otherwise, you can go to the description below and click on this link to access the Patreon page for the full video. With that being said, good luck and thank you for watching.